Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're completing Chapter 2, A New Journey Begins. Looking at our story, we're at Through the Swamplands. Cross the swamp on Chocoback and head for the Mithril Mine. So, looking at the map, we're gonna head back to the abandoned dock and go south from there. But on our way, we do have these activities. We got some Fiend Intel, We've got uh, another Titan Sanctuary and a Life Spring over there. So let's go ahead and fast travel. Let's go, Chocobo. Right, so our Fiend Intel is roughly over there. We got some materials here. A ruby. All right, you can see our enemies right there. If we're crossing the swamp, we'll need to rely on chocobos. Yeah, that's what we were doing. I just stepped in the water briefly. Dangerous fiends may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare moo variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. The ever vigilant moo possesses an incredible memory, meaning that once you've trespassed on its territory, it can and will track you down in order to exact revenge. The Moo have a massive underground network through which they exchange information on food sources and predators. Frankly, it rivals Chadley's own network. So don't you be deceived by their adorably twitchy tails and unassuming demeanor. Further analysis of these crafty creatures will no doubt shed light on their communication methods and maybe help us to improve ours as well. Okay, defeat all nearby enemies. Pressure both fire and ice imbued enemies. We need to stagger an enemy and defeat all enemies within the time limit. So to pressure them, you'll have to hit them with the opposing element of their burrow. So we got some fire ones we'll need to hit with ice, and then ice one we need to hit with fire, but they will change as we fight. So let's get our assassin now. Allow me. It's a me, a rare Mew variant tasked with guarding these species tunnels. Keeping an extra watchful eye on those that connect to dangerous areas containing magma or glaciers. Exploiting its elemental weakness or hitting it with powerful attacks will make it flinch and drive it from its burrow, pressuring it. So let's get a little more ATB. Jump that stone. And then we'll hit this one with fire. Firebolt blade! Got it. Once it's pressured, we'll beat it up with Punisher mode. Okay, we've got our fire dudes, we gotta hit them with ice. Hopefully we're not too late, they will change eventually, but I think we got time. Got it. Alright, so that objective is done. Oh, okay, that's not the one. Where'd he go? Oh, he died. Alright, just this one left. Three. Keep it together. We got this, Barrett. Maximum fury. Get back out here. Alright, 
We got uh, two new combat simulator uh, challenges, actually. So I'll have to check those out, but let's keep exploring around this area before we head back to Chadley. Let's grab that material. And we'll go this way. Into the spooky swamp. Grab this material. So, we sure this is safe? Heard pockets of the bog are damn near bottomless. Plus, there's that giant man-eating serpent. Bill assured us the chocobos could handle it. Have some faith in our feathered friends. Okay, well, uh, we saw a titan crystal thingy over here. So let's find the sanctuary. Smash it! The people of the grassland once believed that earthquakes would occur if they angered Titan. Calm's present day harvest festival <laughs> most likely originated as a ritual offering of crops meant to appease him. <laughs> okay, so that orb went up here. And it went this way, even though we didn't see it. Pick all that up. We got some boxes. Potion. Titan Sanctuary. Attempt to analyze the Titan Crystal? Yes. Okay, we got all circle presses. Do it. Got it. So our Titan Materia is maxed out, and uh, I don't even think we have it equipped. We should probably fix that. Maybe Cloud could take Titan. He's currently got the Chocobo and Moogle. Let's go with Titan. So level 2 gave us Summon level plus 1, level 3 was Summon level plus 1, and level 4 was Boulder Hurl learned. Cool. We'll take that. Hopefully we get an opportunity to summon him soon. All right, so from here, we'll head over in that direction. We'll need to find a way down. We could climb down where we originally came up, but over here we got some boxes to smash. And smash them we will. Right, so down here. We'll swing around this way. We need our chocobos back. Chocobo, there you are. Okay, the uh, life spring just showed up on our compass. Got some materials over here. And we can take these stairs. And we've arrived at a cache location, the Mistvale Reservoir. There are three treasures here. One of them is this way. 
along with some boxes. Moogle Metal. I guess we're saving up Moogle Metals for future pur purchases. And we got a High Potion, that's a nice find. All right, then we've got our second chest over there. We do have some orcs and a wolf. I guess we could take them down. My turn. Oh, Moving back. Wait for this wolf to attack. He's being slow. There we go. No time to celebrate. And lightning materia improved. Very nice. There's the owl trying to show us the life spring. Wait, did I see some boxes? Yeah, boxes over here. Another Moogle medal. Some more boxes over there, too. Let's go get those. Phoenix down. Okay, what do we have in this chest? A beast man armband. Interesting. Let's see if this is any good. Cloud's currently using the Owl Bracer, which is 15 defense and 15 magic with linked materia. The beast man armband has a lot of magic defense. 24. An avant garde armband made from the shavings of a beast man's club. It's grade 2. With two materia slots, that is nice. Uh, let's see, maybe we give it to somebody who's got a bad one. Let's see, who's got a bad one? Uh, Red does. Red or Tifa. Let's give Tifa the uh, Owl Bracer. Oh, and she has actually two materia slots that we're not using. What are we doing? Uh, let's give her Ice Materia. And I don't know, maybe we'll go fire too. Or we could go wind. Wait, nobody's got precision defense focus material? I thought I had that on cloud. Or did I take it off at some point for some reason? Wait, why do I. I swapped cloud to a leather bangle? When did I do that? Alright, hold on, I did something weird. What, what did I do? Oh, I gave Tifa the Owl Bracer. Well, whatever, I guess. I guess uh, Cloud could have the Beastman on ban. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. So, let's give him his precision defense back. And then Tifa gets... Maybe Wind. You get Wind, Materia Tifa. I think all of our other Materia slots are taken. Yep, okay. That looks good. Probably makes more sense for Cloud to have magic defense anyway, since he's so good at avoiding physical attacks by countering. So, it probably works out the best anyway. Alright, we got another Phoenix down from those boxes. Another phoenix down, and our final chest. A bottle of ether. And this cache location is complete. All right, and then right down below, we have our life spring. As usual, tons of materials here. Pick them all up. And do the survey. Spring, I 
was able to locate a new transmuter chip. It's among the refuse left over from the pipeline's construction. Though a touch far from your current location, it's a rather short chocobo ride. All right, that revealed Excavation Intel 2 Pipeline Discovery, which is way over there by the Flower Hill. Well, let's exit this because I think it'll open the door permanently if we ever wanted to return. Get a couple of materials here, and then we'll go ahead and fast travel over there. And that'll actually be the last activity in the grasslands. So, we'll fast travel to the Flower Hill. The Wildflower Plateau. Okay, we're back. Bring in our chocobo. Okay, unearth all the artifacts. There's three of them. That first one's right there. That was easy. We got the transmitter chip for camaraderie earrings. All right, we got another chip nearby. On the other side of this. Right there. That's for basic accessories. We can now transmute a pair of high power wrist guards. Oh, that sounds nice. A uh, bulletproof vest mark two and a pair of magical earrings. And a talisman of focus. All right, and we've got another one that popped up. Right there. And we got uh, armor upgrades too. We can do an enhanced hunter's bangle, an enhanced bone bracelet. And uh, I guess that's it. Oh, party level three, nice. We've collected all world intel data for the grasslands. We got a trophy for doing so. Okay, so let's take a look and our item transmuter. So, can't make anything new for items, or at least we don't have the resources for them. Uh, nothing in armor. Nothing in armor upgrades. Actually, hold on. No, we don't have the materials. I was confused for a second. Oh, actually, yes we do. We just uh, need to uh, unequip it. So we can, in fact, make an enhanced hunter's bangle and an enhanced bone bracelet. So let's go ahead and do that. Hunter's bangle first. Who is wearing the hunter's bangle? It's weird that you can't upgrade it while you're wearing it. Oh, and actually, nobody's wearing it? Really? So I just have one that I'm not using? Or no, no, now I'm confused again. Maybe I don't have that. I didn't make the lesser version. Oh, never mind. I, I thought I owned one, but I don't. And same with the bone, bone bracelet. Oh, I can't actually make those. Hmm. I might have to buy them then. I might have to buy them. I thought I had a bone bracelet at some point. But apparently I don't. And I can't make it. Strange. Maybe we'll swing by the shop and see if I can buy those. Because, yeah, I'm just confused. I thought I had them. All right, anyways, uh, what else? Camaraderie earrings? What are those? A set of earrings crafted with magnetic metals to signify the intangible bonds between comrades. Details increases synergy, or increases damage dealt with synergy skills and synergy abilities by 10%. That seems okay. Uh, we actually need a Quetzalcoatl Talon, though. 
I guess we'll find more or we could just go redo the fight potentially. So we might go and do that, we'll see. And then revival earrings we could already make. All right, and then we have high power wrist guards that we can make. State of the art wrist guards designed to amplify one's strength. It increases strength by 5% and max HP by 250. Well, that's nice. I might make two of those. Oh, we can do it while they're equipped. All right, I don't know why I didn't think we could. Uh, but I don't know. I guess we only really use one at a time, so we'll just upgrade Tifa's for now. Although it's only five iron ore. That's not a big deal. Yeah, let's screw it. We'll just do both. Alright. We'll do both. Then we have, uh, Bulletproof Vest Mark II, which isn't currently being used, but increased vitality by 5% and increased max HP by 250 is pretty nice. So we should consider maybe equipping this. And then the magical earrings increase magic power by 5% and increase max MP by 3. That's pretty awesome for Aerith. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll take two rubies. We've got lots of rubies though. And the talisman of focus increases spirit by 5% and increases max MP by 3. We're not currently using these, but it's only two emeralds, so may as well. Plus we get the experience. Okay. That seems good. But yeah, I'm still curious about the enhanced Hunter's Bangle and Bone Bracelet. Perhaps we will buy these. Yeah. Yeah, let's swing by the, the shop and see if, uh, if those are available. Hunter's Bangle and Bone Bracelet. Alrighty. Let's see, did I need to do anything? I guess we could potentially give the... Um, give the bulletproof vest to somebody. But who? There's no good candidate. Come on, whatever. If we need health at any point, we can uh, potentially put those on. Alright, so let's go ahead and head over to the weapon shop. Okay, weapon shop is this way. Oh, and uh, I guess since we're here, we could do the new combat challenges with Chadley. Let's do that now. I'm pleased to see you've completed our survey of the grasslands. I cannot thank you enough for the data you provided. It was as enriching as the lands here are fecund. Indeed, it has been a valuable learning experience, one I could have never had in Midgar. I hope we can continue to study this world of ours together. All right, use the combat simulator. All right, so we have Grasslands Battle Intel, Natural Order. A series of three-person battles in which you pick your team, engage in simulated combat to procure more biological data about fiends who know the grasslands like the back of their talons. And this will give us Provoke Materia. We'll do Cloud Barret and Aerith. We begin with a Leprechaun and move. Alright, we knocked both the moves out of their uh, holes, or at least we pressured both. Oh, Materia leveled up. Ooh, Prayer Materia improved. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Oh, and we leveled up. 22. We 
got some twin brains, which we haven't seen in a while. Let's pressure this guy. The streamer used to be a big deal, now not so much. Got some variants, the Agrepricon, which is very annoying, and the Mies. Let's switch to Aerith so we can hit one of these Mies with Mies. She is so slow at building ATB. Ah, I tried to get out of there. Oh, he's got a rock. Let's see, I should be able to get this spell off in time though, or I guess not. Oh, ow. That hurt. All right. Blizzard for the me. I got this. Let's do it. You're done. Well, let's see how good our new prey is. So watch Aerith's health. Ooh, she got 432 from that. That is nice. Stupid Agravacon, get out of here. Alright, once he comes back up, I can hit him with Firebolt Blade. Get up here. Get up here. Alright, there we go. Firebolt Blade. Alright, and then Cloud has a limit break. Cross slash. Good is dead. Woo, that did some damage. Aerith, let's have you do. I don't know. Blizzard. Barret. Maximum Fury. And he got wrecked. Oh, healing material improved. Very nice. Alright, that took a minute and 57 seconds, and we got our Provoke Materia. Next up, we have Biological Intel Blinded by Light. A three-person battle on which you pick your team. Engage a deadly fiend in simulated combat to gain not only a clearer picture of its behavioral patterns, but also a skill unique to its species. Claim victory to acquire an enemy skill. Ooh, we get enemy skill Plasma Discharge for the enemy skill materia. Conditions, defeat the enemy within the time limit, so we are timed. We'll do Cloud Bird and everything. All right, we gotta fight a Quetzalcoatl. It'd be cool if he dropped a Talon, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Beating them up. Back to the I don't want that. An overcharge. Alright, so we got two minutes and two seconds left. I think we started with 2.30, so we got plenty of time. Let's hit him with a blizzard. Switch back to Clyde. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Eh, just to play it safe, we can do a play. Back to Aerith. Ooh, got me. That didn't do much. Alright, another blizzard from Aerith. He's pressured. Got the stagger, and might just finish him here, to be honest. Maybe. I think we have a chance. 
Not quite. Close that. Alright, that was no sweat. Alright, that got us our enemy skill, Plasma Discharge. And that is all of the available combat challenges. Thanks to you, my archives are filling up with combat data. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Okay, so we do have a new materia, Provoke. That sounds like a good materia for Barrett, and he actually has a free slot. Why is that? I don't know, but anyways, Provoke automatically uses Provoke to temporarily draw the enemy's attention when teammates are severely injured, ineffective against powerful enemies. So, Provoke lasts for 60 seconds and has a cooldown of 90 seconds. May as well equip it. Okay, so let's check out the shop and see if we can buy those items. What was it bone bracelet and I forget what the other one was called, but when I see it, I should remember. Let it. me know if something piques your interest. So yeah, we have a bone bracelet and a hunter's bangle. We can buy both. Hunter's bangle is 18 defense with eight magic defense. Grade one, a thick bangle made with leather from locally hunted game, available for purchase in the grasslands. We'll buy that. And then Bone Bracelet, Grade 1, a smooth bracelet made from sanding down animal remains, available for purchase in the grasslands, so that's 8 defense and 18 magic defense. We'll buy that. You be careful out there. And then we can enhance both. At least we should be able to. Yep, Enhanced Hunter's Bangle gets it up to 22 defense and 11 magic defense. That seems quite nice. Five beast pelts for that. And then Enhanced Bone Bracelet, 11 defense, 22 magic defense. That'll take five beast bones. A souped up version of the original Bone Bracelet. And our craftsmanship level is four tenths of the way through level six. All right, so who's gonna take these bracelets? Not Cloud, he's got a good one. Barret's got a good one. Aerith has a good one. Red's got a crappy one. So let's give him, I guess Enhanced Hunter's Bangle would be good. Let's do that, that gives us another Materia slot. We'll give him maybe Fire. Once again, seems appropriate considering his tail's on fire. And then Tifa's got an Owl Bracer. Is that better? Owl Bracer 15 and 15. Enhanced Bone Bracelet is 11 and 22. Technically a little bit better. More overall stats. Although Owl Bracer has the linked materia. So maybe we keep that. Maybe the Enhanced Wood Sprite Armlet needs to go. Oh, that also has a linked materia. Not that we're utilizing at the moment, but it's good to have. Maybe the Enhanced Copper Bracer. It's 14 and 14. Uh, yeah, this is better. Okay, so Aerith will ditch her Enhanced Copper Bracer for an Enhanced Bone Bracelet. There we go. All right, looks good to me. So, let's open up our map and get back to our main quest. So, we still need to head down there. Uh, let's fast travel back. Maybe we'll go... Can I fast travel to the cache location? I can. I can go to the Mistvale Reservoir. Let's do that. Alright, put me up here so we can just go down this way.
Okay, and we want to go back in this direction. We'll grab some materials on the way. Oh, and we have uh, buried treasure. Right there. Oh, overshot. Five Moogle medals, not bad. Not bad at all, and then we got another ruby. The rubies are supposedly rare, but I feel like we get them all the time. Either we're very lucky or they're not that rare. Over there. It's Sephiroth. <gasps> what? Come on. I don't see Sephiroth. Do you? No, I don't. Not quite Sephiroth. One of those robed dudes. All right, we got Sage. We got Planet's Blessings. We got a fancy chest there, but let's take care of these enemies first. And may as well top everyone off. With the prey. Don't overdo it. Alright, took them out. Easy. And we've got a box. The special box. We get a high caliber rifle. Barrett, you get a new toy. So it's got. Well, our current one has 31 uh, physical attack and 31 magic attack. This one is 47 physical attack and 16 magic attack. The ability is bonus round. It's a retro firearm repurposed from a Republic era weapon. And bonus round, load your weapon with unique bullets that increase stagger and power up your attacks. You get a proficiency bonus for firing 20 bullets. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely take that. And then we need a new weapon skill. So our choices are staggering charge, Increases overcharge reload when staggering enemies. Magic attack power plus 20, which seems like an odd choice because it has low magic attack. So why would you then pick that? There's unflinching overcharge. Makes it harder to be interrupted while using overcharge. Or just max HP plus 200. Let's do the max HP. And Barrett almost at 3,000 health. Jeez. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, where's my bird? Let's keep going. Focus. All right, here we go. Oh, 
got me good there. Let's do an assess. The Midgard Summer. An immense serpent that dwells in the swamplands. It strikes at any creature who enters its territory, pulling the newfound prey into its coils and then swallowing them whole. A potent venom drips from the base of its fangs, toxifying the waters in which it lives. Inflicting enough damage by exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. Hitting it with synergy abilities will pressure it instantly. It's weak to ice. All right, Aerith, so we're gonna have to rely on you a little bit. Ooh, tried to counter that, apparently I could. Counter that one. Right. I've taken a little bit of a beating in there. Let's do a prey. Uh, Barret do some damage over here. Now we can aim for the cranial dome or the body itself. Probably best to aim for the dome. Let's go with our new ability bonus round. So build up this thing. Careful. This thing's already pissed off enough. Alright, maximum fury. Let's switch to Aerith. Try to get an ace in there. Ice for the cranial dome, and we'll go back to cloud. Alright, we got it pressured. Get back! Watch out for the scorching breath. Not good. Everyone, keep your distance. Ooh, I should have kept my distance. Uh, I thought I had dodged through that before. You might be able to dodge through it, but apparently not worth the uh, the trouble. So definitely want to keep your distance on that. Uh, let's have Aerith get a heal off as soon as possible. One more shot. All right, Aerith, throw a heal cloud's way. Go back to class. Oh, went underground. Oh! Well, that sucks. Claws trap. Help him out, Barrett. Maximum fury. Alright, we got him to release Cloud. Alright, no, we didn't. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and pray. I got a proficiency bonus, probably for bonus round. Don't overdo it. Need my help. And back to Aerith. You got this, Aerith. All right, and then we can do a synergy ability once we get this power off. So let's do another blizzard. Nope, don't devour me. Ow. Wait. Okay, that did go off, but apparently didn't do much. Uh, but we can do our synergy ability. We'll do Firework Blade to the Cranial Dome. And then we'll work on Barrett while they're doing that. Oh, no! Oh, that sucks so bad! Oh, he's up on the tree. Let's do... Maximum Fury to the cranial dome. Something tells me this thing ain't messing around Corrosive fluid. Look out! Oh crap. I to jump into it. Let our thermal absorption. Alright, let's do Maximum Fury again, and we'll go to Aerith. Right, what's he up to? Scorching breath, get away! Blizzard! Get ready. Go on. All right, body slam. Poor Cloud ate it. Hang back. Went for a fight, and it got knocked. All right, Cloud's somewhat close to a limit break. Let's do Prey. Thermal absorption again, we're gonna have to get out. Oh, I'm praying those, I'm probably gonna get stuck. Let's do maximum fury. Oh, I got out! Right, big counters there, proficiency bonus. We already mastered um, 
Bonus round, and he is doing something called beta. Which I don't know what this is. That was lame, it wasted my prey. Oh, get away. Get away. Oh, still got me. Aerith, throw me a heal. Alright, so we have synergy ability? No. But we do have a limit break. Let's do a limit break to the uh, cranial dome and we get ascension, which is level 2 limit break because of uh, the synergy ability we did earlier. Gotta give it my all. Oh, and I missed. What great timing. Missed my synergy ability and my limit break. How wonderful. I right, do a pray, bear it. Just to absorb the fire from that tree, and it's doing beta now. Oh. Throws the fluid. Uh, let's just have Aerith do a soul drain. Alright, we've almost got the stagger. Let's build up some ATB for the stagger. We got it. Lay into him. Should be able to finish him right here. Barret do maximum fury. Cloud can do another braver. Aerith can do a soul drain. Never mind, he's done. Is it gone? Remember who I am? Eris. Oh, it's good to have you back, Cloud. Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. 
Those guys are looking for him too. They've got to be. Yeah, I kind of get that feeling as well. Let's not lose her. With Midgard Surmer gone, you can now swim through the swamplands. Well, interesting turn of events. Sephiroth comes to save us. Unexpected. All right, let's go ahead and summon in our Chocobo. We are gonna follow those dudes into the cave, but before we do that, we're gonna grab these materials and go a little bit deeper into the swamp this way. And we've discovered a new cache location, the Marshy Mire. There are two chests here. We get a bottle of high ether. And a ruby. Like I said, they're supposedly rare, but I get them all the time. So, that cache location is complete. Now we'll head back and into the mine. Take the stairs over here. Looking around, don't see anything. I guess I never looked over here though. Let's just make sure there's nothing. Just some old machinery. Yep, we're good. All right, in we go. dealt with worse that's easy for you to say you fought the worst for a living not us though yeah good boy you mind taking the lead Merc for 2,000 <laughs> enough for her standard course twice right her what now ask him cloud uh, uh, forget it you guys need to focus wasn't all that long ago that this place was a working mithril mine. Y'all know about mithril, right? Hmm. Not anything specific, no. It's pretty tough. And beautiful, besides. Right on both counts. But what you might not realize is just how rare it is. Never been found outside of these caves, in fact. And I ought to know. Worked in a mine myself back in the day. Hard not to learn about the life when you live in it. Should we pick up a few souvenirs then? Hmm, we could, but probably not worth it. Shinra's been churning out stuff made with more durable alloys for years now. Even got that signature mithril sheen and everything. Probably refined with materia too. Look at you, Mr. Shinra expert. <clears throat> okay, so that concludes chapter two, and we've moved into chapter three. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up right here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.